All new at 5.30, a public safety alert for downtown commuters, those who utilize the two-wheel variety of transportation. Metro police have issued a warning about a dramatic increase in the number of bike thefts. RTV6's Jack Reinhardt joins us live from our downtown studio on Monument Circle with details. Jack. Well, Todd, people are uh, using bicycles more and more to commute to work, and so that makes downtown a target-rich environment for thieves who want to steal them. For many, a bicycle is a form of exercise, but for still many others, it's transportation. And for those who depend on their own pedal power, people will go to many lengths in order to protect them. Well, you got a lock and stuff. Use common sense. You have a lock, you know. Not using one, guess, but might as well put a sign on and say, hey, would you steal this, please? Emily Schrock, who depended on her bike for transportation, rode it to church on Sunday, only to find out after services that someone had cut the lock. I think a lot of people my age, especially in a city where we have the cultural trail and we have, you know, bike racks everywhere, you know, you think you're safe locking up your bike on, you know, a city-provided um, apparatus, but then you come out and it's gone. Metro Police report a dramatic increase in the number of bike thefts, well over 100. They've occurred along a line from the campus at IUPUI to Massachusetts Avenue and several places in between. Police say that thieves will ride an older model bike and wear a backpack with bolt cutters hidden inside. They'll pretend like they're doing, they're locking their own bike. They'll swing the bag around and on the bottom of the backpack has a slit opening and they have bolt cutters in there so you can't really see them cutting the lock and they'll just kind of hunch over and they'll cut the lock. Police suggest that bike owners record the serial number and take a picture of the bike both of which can be attached to a police report. I've never had an issue but I know my friends from work have. Unfortunately police admit if someone wants your bike they're going to find a way to take it. Uh, I haven't had any problems I don't tend to leave my bike out very long though, um, and I lock it up when I do, or I make sure that I can see it. Uh, I'm glad that I'm aware of that. I'll probably buy a second lock for it now. Now, police say a frequent mistake that a lot of people make is they buy an expensive high-end bike without buying a high-end locking system to protect it. Police have made some arrests, but the thefts continue, so beware. Reporting live downtown, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. All right, so if they find this person, Jack, thank you.